Hello, Eric Stams here at Drum Tech. I'm here today to talk to you about playing reggae grooves, specifically the one drop. Um, reggae grew out of ska and rock steady, um, which evolved out of jazz and R&B music. Most of these grooves um, started out with a swing feel, as did the early jazz recordings, um, which is why you hear this emphasis on the two and four a lot of the times. Right, if we take that and apply the bass drum and the cross stick on the three, we get what we get what's known as the uh, the one drop. So if we take this pattern, we get get what's known as the one drop. It's called that because everything drops on the three. Um, and the feel, despite popular belief, is actually on the quarter note. It actually feels like it's laid back, but if you watch the way people dance to this music, it's all on this upbeat sort of a feel. So we get this. way to go about actually um, developing this is to just play quarter notes on the hi-hat. And then put the cross stick and bass drum on three. One, two, then add the accents. And then we can add the swing feel. so on and so forth. Now, if we take this, we can play it in a straight feel as well. Um, a, lot of the, the, a lot of the early recordings will be heard in both feels. Another thing to think about is sound. Um, if you watch um, some early footage of these drummers, the way they play is across the hi-hat, flat across the top, almost near the bell, which gives you this very dry and tight sound. So we get this. One more little thing to add <clears throat> is to think about the sound of the cross stick. Make sure you get the sweet spot of the stick. There's a spot where it resonates nicely and sounds good. And let's start to incorporate maybe a little bit of this um, quarter note triplet phrase that's often heard. So we'll go back to the swing feel. Over the years, different things have been brought into it. For, for instance, uh, playing the bass drum on the quarter notes. 